Thanks for joining us on our final segment we have with us this morning on the couch, uh, young Janish Jesha Young, who's a first form student. We also have Sister Mary Stevens um, from the Palatine Missionary Sisters. And we have the religion teacher and PR representative, Marlet Lacayo. Yes. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? We're good. And of course, uh, we're happy that, uh, well, I know Jaisha's probably the happiest one here because she gets a little <laughs> bit of time out of school. <laughs> but uh, you're here to tell us about uh, upcoming fundraiser, which is uh, your school fair, right? Yes. yes. And it's yes. a twofold process this time around, right? It is. So let's start with uh, the convent. And I'll get Sister Mary Stevens in uh, to tell me about it. We, we remember the story. We had it in our newscast where the convent was essentially falling apart and it had to be demolished and now you're working to rebuild. Tell me where you are today. Well, we, we have worked very hard with the help of Friends of Paloti, mm -hmm. who are a group of young, young adults, a lot of them from the graduating classes of Paloti High School. Mm -hmm. So we have worked very hard to raise what we have. But it has gone like a breeze. <laughs> it all went under the ground. Yeah. So much so that I cannot believe if we didn't, we can't even see the piles. If we didn't know that they were there, we would say, well, somebody went off with the money. <laughs> so now we are at ground zero again. We will soon have to stop because we don't have any more. It, w it was only money for the foundation. Yeah. So this is a part of being a Belizean and we are not crying over it. We are proud to be here. Yes. But a lot of the money in buildings in Belize go under the ground. And so that's where we are at this point. But coming March, March um, 5th, March 13th, 15th, 15th we are having a fundraiser for young adults, adults, and even elderly people. We are having a dinner and a dance. Right. You dance away in the night, and then you sit and you have a good meal. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. will invite everybody to be a part of that, because our, our um, fundraisers are very unique, very fulfilling for the people who attend and it helps us a whole lot. Yeah. Also at the fair we were given a little space <laughs> for a stall <laughs> and that's we thank Paloti. So like you get prime real estate. <laughs> yes, we thank Paloti High School for giving us a little space but in that little space we are going to fill it with a white elephant. Mm. <laughs> ah. okay. And in that white elephant stall, every Belizean can buy something because the prices will range from shilling. Now remember, you don't buy anything for shilling anymore in Belize. No. But on Saturday, you will be able to buy clothes for shilling and there will be a variety of other things that you can buy. That starts at 8 o'clock in the morning until until the fair ends. So if you just have a little bit of money, you can give the high school some of it, but stop in at the white <laughs> elephant stall <laughs> and you will be able to fill your bag with one dollar because we will have something for everybody. And that's Men, your women yeah. and children. And that's your fundraising. And that will be our fundraising. So we hope that the white elephant will be able to walk on the new grounds mm. after that song. <laughs> so don't forget, Sister. white elephant alive at Paluti <laughs> Fair. Thank you. Sister, I always, always, uh, my favorite time, as I've said, to pass Paluti is on a Sunday. Yes. Um, Paluti as an institution has been around for a very long time. Over 100 years, and 106. Has, and has helped to define Belize. Thank you. The, the, the building itself is, is part of the ongoing mission yes. of the uh, Palatine Sisters and the organization. 
Um, could you talk about how important it is that, and I, I told you guys as well, I wish that at the end of that dinner, some alumni or some husband of an alumni oh. um, writes a huge check. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can see the building go up immediately thereafter. Yeah. But could you talk about the importance of the work yes. that's being done? Uh, we have been around for 106 years this year. And it is not our policy to fly a flag for every little thing we do. But there is a lot of that happens behind the stage. Yes. yes, on Sundays, that is a very touching exercise mm -hmm. that also goes out to the women, to the parents, to the family of this community. Mm -hmm. Because every Sunday, the homeless of this nation, of this city particularly, could come to Paluti and get a breakfast, a warm breakfast, and at noon, a nice plate of dinner. Mm -hmm. And we do not fail in having our families come in and serve. Yes. And when I say families, many families also bring in their children. This is the only way the children will learn that they too have to begin to give. And so we have developed that. Also, another very important aspect, if twice a month, we get the elderly to come in and get a hamper of basic rice, sugar, flour, basic yeah. yes. for every poor family. You have to be 65 though. Mm -hmm. But so when you're 65 and you cannot find a little bit of food, you're welcome to come to Paluti yes. and you will find a little hamper there. Yeah. So there are lots of little things we do. As I say, we don't always fly the flag. Lately, we have had to be flying our flag. It's a way of humbling us too, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we also need the community. But we thank the community yeah. for always coming through for us. And you pray, and for, and you pray for me and the community oh, as well, right, we sister? Sh we should. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we have a I think he needs a bit more prayer. <laughs> Just double up a little bit. <laughs> I, will have to, well, I will have to double up and be smart and maybe go triple up and quarter. <laughs> I love your sister. <laughs> That's, you said something I think is so touching that it's it's been a humbling experience for the Palatine sisters to kind of reverse the flow yes from giving to asking, asking yes. Yes. Um, and you did get support for your foundation but the building oh, is did. necessary yes for um, the de for the demolition and for the foundation yeah which was very good yeah so yeah. when who have you found to be your biggest supporters uh, so far when you reverse your role and started to, to ask for help? I would say that everybody, the small people, the grassroots, I will tell you that many of those elderly people that came for their hampers, when they're going, they say, I bring a dollar for the, wow. for the building. Nice. That was so touching. Yeah. You are getting food because you don't have food, and yet you can take your last dollar. We did get quite a bit from those who have much more than the dollar to give. Mm -hmm. So we are not downplaying yeah. that aspect of the community. Yeah. We also did get some help from the people that come to Punta Gorda for ministry that when they came and they saw foreigners that kept when they came and they saw our needs would drop something before they leave nice. so it's very hard to say who do we appreciate more yeah. every cent comes well yes. there's a there's a bible story about that sister the widow's might the yes the widow's might one that came out and gave her last yes her last penny. yes yeah. so and you know what you know what when Jesus said, what do you have there? And the little boy said, only two fish and five oh, loaves of bread. And he said, bring it. Bring what you have. have. Don't bring what you would like to bring. No. Bring what you have. Because when he blessed it, then he fed 5,000. Yeah. So bring what you have, however small it is. When God blesses that, he finishes the yeah. <laughs> So. 
the white elephant at the fair. That's one of the attractions <laughs> yes. we're looking forward to, right? The white yes. elephant <laughs> and on March the 15th, the dance. Yeah. Uh, a couple dance and dinner. Yeah. That will be special. All our fundraisers are very unique. You come out feeling good about <laughs> yourself. Now, Miss uh, Lacayo, tell us about the, the other elements of the fair. This is traditionally at the end of every January, so that means it's this Saturday, right? Yes. Okay. So, Belize, you know that Palate does it right. Mm -hmm. You know that we are fire starters. Mm -hmm. You know we blow up the new year. Wow. And so, yes, Palate High School wow. will be kick-starting what will be a long chain of events for the, the whole entire calendar year. Mm -hmm. All the different high schools have their fair. We are the ones who begin. Yeah. All right? And so come this Saturday on the 2nd of February. See, we, we were considering our loved ones out there, you know, because uh -huh. we love them. Uh -huh. We thought, okay, we want to make sure that PD takes place. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. makes yeah. sense, man. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. enough colors for the white elephant, too, yes. right? <laughs> no, and I know I have a whole white elephant that you know. <laughs> uh -huh. And so it's very exciting. You know how we do it. If you have ever been to a Palotti High School fair, oh mercy, I tell you, it's it's no it's no it's no joke. And I mean. Only two dollars to enter. Hello, okay. we we can handle that, okay? And so we are very excited. We are excited because the convent is teaming up with us, and I want to tell you how appreciative we are. What people don't understand, you won't have a Palote High School if you did not have Absolutely. the Palotan Missionary yes. Sisters. And we do go hand in hand. Yeah. And so if she wanted a white elephant, a black one, and a grey one too, <laughs> we would have allowed. Yeah. Please, hello. Okay? So, yes, pretty amazing. Teacher. So, Jaisha, tell us from your... Uh, um, what the students are doing to help to prepare for the fair and i gotta ask i mean this has got to be one of your most fun teachers i just about to say I <laughs> cannot. <laughs> and she teaches religion so you She's are also my homeroom teacher oh wow. you're lucky nice. yeah Good. go ahead and tell me so how how's the school preparing the school is preparing not as yet but we are going to have so many things food galore people love food so we will have mm -hmm. so many different kinds of food we have Tostados, pebel, nachos, ice cream for the kids. We also have different activities that will be taking place, like um, the dunk tank, where you, yes. where someone Ooh. falls in. What teacher went? What teacher went for it? I'm not sure. I hope the co <laughs> co front gone by then. <laughs> uh -huh, go ahead. We have um, what else? We have a raffle going on. Mm -hmm. The, there are so many different things you can win. One is phone. So many, we as students got two books to sell. Uh -huh. We sold, well, most of us sold all of them. Mm -hmm. I have finished mine. I finished in one day because my family, oh. they, <laughs> they, support. they like the they prizes always support. and they're supporting you. They're supportive. Okay. And they, they really support me because they love me and they really like that I'm going to Palote. They yeah. also like the sisters because they helped with the school mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But they also have more activities and stuff. We have drinks. We have we have so many drinks. We have um. They are still healthy. Chino, Palocino. Palocino. Ah. That that um, Palocino is our version of the Palote frozen coffee. Ah. We call it Palocino. Oh, like from Palocino. Palocino. Yes. 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 Mm. yes. Where did I, I've never heard that before? <laughs> okay, oh. so uh -huh. let me tell you. Tell me. One of the things about Palote High School, we have an amazing group of people working uh -huh. together. And we have our, one of the things that people may not be aware of, Palote High School, as academically driven as it is, mm -hmm. it 
also started because it wanted to make sure that we are not only ladies who can speak well, walk well, talk well. Mm -hmm. We are ladies, mm -hmm. if we so choose to marry, we can handle our homes, hello. Mm -hmm. And so we have a home economic program mm -hmm. running through our school. It's amazing. We have Mrs. Pauline Davis, oh my goodness. I don't want to sound so, but you know, <laughs> yeah, we handle our business, okay? And our girls just do this Palocino with the aid of Mrs. Davis who is the food and nutrition teacher. Okay. I tell you it's amazing. So you amazing. have your own Palote yeah. blend of yes. coffee. Yes, yes we and do. And Sister Mary is the one who is reminding you so it sounds like you're a frequent <laughs> customer aren't you? Yes. <laughs> be, be, care, be careful that some big company don't steal her way to work on TV or radio. Oh, I'm, I'm completely oh. excited about going on. Yeah. Will, will there be Why the... Why they are copyright laws <laughs> now? <laughs> ah. <laughs> you serious. keep up with what's happening, don't you? <laughs> it's awesome. Will, will there yeah. be the... I know one of the things... My sister attended uh, Palote and is a graduate of it. And my mother is as, as hype about the fair as my sister used to be. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that she used to like was the, is there the youth dance still on the basketball yes. court? Mm. It's not going to be on the basketball court, I think. It's going to be in the, um, the auditorium. auditorium. The different styles will be on the court. Um, my class style is the cheesy fries mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. pina colada. Mm -hmm. We'll be selling cheesy fries for only $4 mm -hmm. and the pina colada for 5 we're yes. talking virgin, pina virgin colada. Virgin. virgin. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> just making sure for the parents that got you know, nervous just now, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. You know, we are a responsible um, group and it's a family affair. Yeah. Our affair is a family affair. Whether you're two or 92, you are welcome. Oh. All right? And if you are so 100, we love you even more. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so you can come on out. So $2 entrance, yes. food, yes. drinks. Uh, Palachinos yes. uh, and games. Yes. games. Now, oh, uh -huh. There yeah. are different games for the like three to five years old. They have uh -huh. fairyland for the girls. They have mm -hmm. fish ponds and different activities for children if they come. So it's a family affair. Mm -hmm. Yes. At what Lucky time day? does it start? At three, three o'clock. Three, three o'clock yes. until? Until 12 oh. midnight. Oh. All right. But let me tell you, see there are things that go on way before you know. Um, like Friday, I was trying my best to like keep up with my New Year's resolution. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> but um, the sisters, um, for those who don't know, we have Sister Katerina, who taught me while I was there. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a Palotti grad. Hello, oh. Palotti. <laughs> All right? And um, she taught me how to cook and how to bake. And they did these cinnamon rolls oh, to die for. Mm. <laughs> so that, be a too? that already went. We, they, we didn't <laughs> even have leftovers. You know, There's loaf time to bread. Bake for I just said, see if yeah. you got flour. Yes, loaf bread, <laughs> um, buns, <laughs> cinnamon rolls. I'm like, hello. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then they want me to lose all this fabulousness. That won't work. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then it sounds like you need a baker to the front <laughs> of the uh, you know, what, all, right? yeah. so Maybe that can be yes. part of the building point. <laughs> and then on Saturday, earlier on in yeah. the day, we have these amazing foods that we do, like the rare, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And you have the turkey dinner. Um, as we came in this morning, one of your ladies asked us, you know, what time will the, the food start? Mm -hmm. I said from 11 o'clock. He said, no, 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 no. He said, that's not correct. Mm -hmm. Because last year when I went for mine, you were sold out already. I said, this wow. is why we say you get it beforehand. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Because our rain, our turkey dinner, you know, and then the white elephant will be in the yard. Hello. <laughs> All right. You know, so, fully alive. So, fully alive. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to fair this Saturday starting at four three, three. Yes. Um, starting at eight in the morning. Oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. The elephant at eight o'clock in the morning. Yes. The white elephant will yes. be available, right? Yes. He'll be alive. Uh, the white <laughs> elephant will come alive. <laughs> and uh, at 11 o'clock, the, the lunch goes on yes. sale, different types of lunch. And at mm. four, the, the fair starts. The three. Yes. At three. At three. I keep on. Three o'clock yes. in the evening. Mm -hmm. yes. And it goes until midnight. There's so much to do. We really wish you the best of luck, of course. Uh, we hope, sister, too, that, that uh, some of your uh, great supporters will come out Absolutely. and either support 
you through the store or contact you and find out how they can support in building uh, the convent for the Palatine Sisters. Thank Best you. of luck this weekend. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. We're going to go ahead and take that final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap up. So stay tuned.